Bienvenidos, worldwide fans of the planet's hottest entertainment with an edge. I'm Ian Fuego here, and I welcome you to my namesake program in Fuego Tainment, Dan Reezy, and very stoked because I have a unexpected unboxing that I am about to do today. Now, you see a big missing chunk on my bookshelf there, and that's because I took all my Joe Hill books out, not to be confused with the amazing graphic novel work that he has done, including Lock and Key, uh, all the way up to most recently Basket Full of Heads, uh, uh, Dying is Easy, I mean, the dude is one of my absolute favorite authors, son of the king, but the apple has not fallen far, and much, much respect to Joe. I actually already had this book, Full Throttle, which I got uh, last October when Joe did a book signing here in the deadly desert of Arizona and I actually had him personalize it. Fuego! Gracias for taking a run to the hill because on my main program, which is called The Horror Show here on YouTube, this is my little separate side channel where I do the non-spooktacular stuff. But uh, yeah, over there I've done reviews of all of the Joe Hill books and it's a program called Run to the Hill. And then I also do one about his Papa Bear. That's right, that's a program called Hail to Stephen King. So I already have Full Throttle. But I have something very special to unbox here today. Oh, also the Tales from the Dark Side script stuff. That's really sad that we never, never got that. So all of these terrific uh, stories that Joe has written, it's really tough for me to even pick one in particular that I love the most. Uh, this most recent collection of short stories, though, is certainly something special. And it came out last year, but I just received from Cemetery Press, or excuse me, <laughs> Cemetery Press, much love to Cemetery Dance, but Subterranean Press, uh, also uh, shout out to PS Publishing, but Subterranean Press are the ones behind this awesome deluxe edition. And I'm gonna just grab my little, my little batarang here, waha, to help me with this. But yeah, Subterranean Press, they do terrific deluxe edition stuff of horror, science fiction, fantasy, very similar to the aforementioned Cemetery Dance and PS Publishing. So let's kind of, just gonna slice this baby on open. And this is the deluxe edition of Full Throttle. And we're gonna take a look at it real quick. I'm gonna just set my old baddie back there. Oh, we've got fun stuff there. I'm just gonna kind of strew it on the ground. Got a cool little, uh, you know, it never occurred to me that polka songs have names. Quotes from the warehouse. All right, cool. So it's like a bookmark little thing. Pretty swerved. And, uh, Emmy, your books were packed by Emmy. Enjoy your treasures. Readable works of art. Yeah. And from just some of the, I mean, so many of these amazing deluxe editions are just, I love, I love illustrations in books and I love these big, collectible kind of hardcovers. And what's even better is the fact that, um, no, there's my, there's my order, I think. And this was actually a gift from my lady, Catherine, so I have to give her a nice shout out for this. This was ordered back around Christmas for me. I'll just tear through some of this plastic. Yeah, I'll just kinda, let's get this baby on out. Set this box down. Okay. So, all right, so I'm not spinning it around. No, no, okay, so obviously, Joe Hill, there we go, Full Throttle. And this was such a terrific collection of stories. A lot of them I had read before, uh, for instance, In the Tall Grass, and, uh, oh goodness, what is, uh, I believe, uh, Throttle, I wanna say? I think that was the one. It's the very first story in the, oh my God, oh my God, yeah. And then there's also thumbprint in here. Um, I've read your release before, which was in the Fright or Flight, I believe it was, which is uh, Cemetery Dance publication, edited by Bev Vincent. But man, this, holy shit, man. I'm just gonna set that down so I don't, it's, anytime you get these pristine editions, like, you're almost like weary to even read them because they are so beautiful. Like, look at that artwork, man. Damn, and the art I think was yeah, Dave, Dave McKean. So just a little bit about Dave McKean real quick. So I know him from doing like album covers originally. I think that was some of the first stuff of his I ever saw. He's over across the pond in the UK and he did, I mean, I saw like Paradise Lost and Dream Theater and Skinny Puppy and Alice Cooper, stuff like that. But I know he also did some work uh, with Anne Rice on the stat. I think it was some form of that. Uh, and then dude, Mirror Mask. 
Seriously, Mirror Mask he directed and Jim Henson Productions, I believe, put that one together. That movie is like... It's a trippy Alice in Wonderland sort of film. Boy, is it rad status. I absolutely adore, adore that movie, and it's sitting in my living room on my shelf, obviously. Physical media, baby, physical media. And, um, yeah, I think he worked on... I know he's worked with Neil Gaiman. I think he worked on the third Harry Potter movie, which is the best Harry Potter movie, Prisoner of Azkaban. But anyway, I am just already enthralled and in awe with the beauty that is on display here. And, oh, yeah, the wrapper. So we've got the wraparound of the, uh, ah! Boy, I'm trying to be so gentle with it. Got a little bit of the Dark Carousel story, if you guys can see. I think it was called Dark Carousel. Uh, that was the one that uh, was also previously re released along with, it was like a vinyl audiobook, if I remember correctly. And obviously I have this in audiobook form as well. But just to be really, God, really gentle here um, and just get at least a taste of these crazy, like, tribal-looking skulls that we got here. Really sweet, man. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so let's take a peek through. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Here's the, uh, the motorcycle from the father-son story that I believe is the first one that we get here. And, uh, yep, signed by Joe and Dave, number 217. So now I have, I actually technically have three things from uh, Joe that are signed. I believe this was okay. So the aforementioned PS Publishing, who did the deluxe of the Fireman, that is a signed copy that I have. But okay, so let's take a let's take a look inside this baby. More awesome of those tribal skulls. Oh, man. okay. So oh, Jesus, man, like these illustrations are out of control, absolutely out of control. And I do believe this was long sold out long before. It arrived in my hot little hands, to quote my buddy Cecil. But, yeah, so this has a great introduction called Who's Your Daddy? Which is just Joe talking about, and yes, it was called Throttle. <laughs> my memory served me okay. But uh, Who's Your Daddy is this great introduction to the collection that Joe wrote talking about being the son of Stephen King and some of the just, I mean, obviously pressure that came along with uh, trying to forge his way through this industry and not using the King moniker and not wanting to create in that shadow, so to speak, because of the expectation and that pressure and stuff. And so, I, I mean, it's just fascinating the way he went about it and a lot of people didn't even know as he was starting to achieve success that he was King's kid, which is really cool and makes me respect him even more. So, yeah, that crazy biker gang from Throttle, cooking meth, it's a wacky story and it is a homage to the Richard Matheson tale duel that Spielberg adapted. So let me, I'm just gonna kind of breeze through really quickly and try to show you as many of these illustrations as I can. But Throttle is a solid story. It was adapted into, okay, so I'm kind of guessing we're gonna have corresponding images uh, at the beginning of each story and at the tail end, which is really cool to get two different things for each one. Yep, and then Dirt Carousel, wow. This is one about a carousel that kind of comes to life and goes after these kids. It's really rad status. But uh, yeah, man, uh, Road Rage was the comic book that uh, Throttle was adapted into. That's a lot of fun. So, but I, I mean, just the, the thickness of the pages, the coarseness of, of the actual wrapping and everything is just gorgeous. It, it, it feels expensive, you know, if I'm gonna quote a friend of mine. So yeah, uh, and then we jump into Wolverton Station. Uh, there may or may not be wolverines on this train, or excuse me, werewolves on this train. <laughs> so, I, I mean, just everything about this collection from the awesomeness, and, and this was another one that was previously published by the Silver Water of Lake Champlain. This was uh, about a couple kids who find a dinosaur, and this one was actually adapted into an episode of season one of Shudder's uh, relaunch of Creepshow, which was kind of cool. And uh, I think it was a tribute to Ray Bradbury, if I remember correctly, and it was also turned into a IDW comic and a collection there. So, I mean, this is just, I'm, I'm so in awe, and the tough thing with something like, with a collection like this, is that it's so beautiful and so pristine, and then we go into the Fawn story, which I think was maybe the longest in the entirety here, and it's about this guy who goes into this, like, Lord of the Rings type medieval uh, fantasy world to go hunt uh, while well, he's hunting a fawn, basically, without getting into too much of it. But, 
yeah, with these beautiful additions, man, I almost don't even want to, the, the, the slate returns, the bookmobile story, this is one that'll totally get you in the feels, hard, 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 hardcore, but yeah, with, with these beautiful additions like this, man, it's like I, I almost want to just stick to my other copy and not mess these up, I'm sure a lot of you collectors can feel my pain in this regard, but uh, Oh man, and one of my absolute favorite stories in this entire collection is All I Care About Is You. It's read by Ashley Cummings, who uh, was in Hounds of Love, and then she also plays Vic on Nosferatu, the uh, TV series on AMC. She's a terrific uh, Aussie actress, I think. And uh, yeah, she's great on the show. She does a terrific reading of this. All I Care About Is You, it's got one of the most unexpected endings in anything Joe Hill has ever written. I even tweeted about the ending of it to him once and he was just like, yup. So it's it's that kind of art that definitely gets you thumbprint was also previously published. That's cool. It's about um, a Iraq war vet who comes back and she's got some major guilt on her hands. And so just bottom line, everybody, I don't know how much you would end up trying to spend to, oh, the, the Devil on the Staircase was one of the strangest stories in here and totally one of the shortest too. Um, yeah, but I don't know what it would cost to track this baby down. Ah, uh, Twittering from the Circus of the Dead. This is a story that it's like this evil circus of sorts that this family goes to may or not be what they seem. Is it all a show? Who knows? But it's this kid just tweeting about it the entire time. It was a very novel way of putting a story together. Mums is about this like quasi cult. Very, very cool. Man, I love I love this collection. It's so brilliant and so badass, and I am just blessed beyond belief to have a copy of this. And then, obviously, in the tall grass, this, and you know, some people gave Vincenzo's movie a little bit of crap. Uh, I loved it. I thought it was terrific. It's on Netflix right now. You definitely need to go check it out. It's from the director of Cube and Splice, and he's done some great TV work as well. Um, yeah, I mean, this collection is top friggin' notch, and now we are to the final tale, which is you are released, which is kind of what if the apocalypse started happening and all these people are trapped on a plane. Uh, it's got some Langoliers vibes, so Papa Bear, you know, maybe getting some of the DNA in there a little bit, but yeah, they're really, I can't necessarily say, oh, look at that. I can't necessarily say that there is a weak story in this entire collection. And uh, if you want the full review of Full Throttle, definitely go over to youtube.com slash the horror show channel. That's where I reviewed it and talked extensively about all of these different stories. But yeah, yeah gang, that is gonna do it for my unboxing here. And obviously major, major props to Dave McKean and Joe Hill for just this amazing collaborative effort brought about trying to be as ginger as possible here by the awesome Subterranean Press. Subterranean Press, if you can track it down, this is an absolutely gorgeous deluxe edition of Joe Hill's Full Throttle, his second collection of short stories that came out in 2019. It's fantastic, uh, my regular copy obviously being right here. This is the one that you need to go track down, it's probably much more easily accessible, but uh, I'm sure you would be just as stoked as me if, uh, yeah, you got yourself a copy of this. So, I have been Jaime in Fuego. I extend a grande gracias. You can find me on all social media sectors like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, here on YouTube. Please like, share, and subscribe. This, once again, as I said, is my smaller little side channel in comparison with the aforementioned horror show, which is where, uh, yeah, I mean, we do episodes there every single day, youtube.com slash the horror show channel. And it's not just myself, the incredibly talented showrunner Cecil Laird, who I am also a producer of the program with, along with Susie Von Slaughter, Robert Duell, Marsha Parker. We have a great gang of horror enthusiasts covering everything scarific under the spooktacular sun. So uh, like, share, subscribe over there. Do the dang thing here. And uh, I'm going to end this the way I do for uh, the show about Joe's dad. So until the Wheel of Ka comes around once more, hasta luego, sin amigos, constant readers and viewers alike. Say thank you, and I am hopeful that we share more of this palaver sooner rather than later. And until then, uh, yeah, uh, read more books, guys. You definitely have time in all this crazy quarantining.